Nautical Wings Aerospace is taking a bold leap, announcing plans to build a 1 megawatt class electric motor for next generation VTOL platforms, a feat that would place India among the world's elite propulsion developers. After spending four years perfecting a 40 kilowatt motor through 38 iterations and multiple failures, the company is now rapidly scaling to 100 to 500 kilowatt systems for electric aircraft, hybrid tolls, and urban air mobility. With faster development cycles, India's aerospace innovation is entering a new era. India is pushing to acquire five additional S-400 squadrons after the system proved decisive in the 2025 India-Pakistan conflict. The S-400 downed multiple Pakistani fighters, an AEWNC aircraft, and even scored a record 314-kilometer kill, while defeating a Chinese origin missile, and over 50 drone salvos. With Russia assuring delivery of pending units by November 2026, the proposal will be key at the Modi-Putin summit. India has also cleared major missile replenishments and an indigenous S-400 maintenance facility. India's tank fleet just received a major upgrade, as PARS Defense signs a landmark DRDO technology transfer deal to manufacture the new thermal imaging driver night sight for T-90 Bhishma tanks. The system replaces obsolete Russian sites, offering over 1 km detection in total darkness and extreme weather. With first deliveries due in 2027 and production scaling up to 500 units yearly, the indigenous driver night sight boosts self-reliance, enhances battlefield visibility, and opens export opportunities for nations operating T-90 variants. India's combat training gets a major boost, as Zen Technologies secures a Rs 108 crore defense contract for next-gen tank crew gunnery simulators. Designed for T-90 and T-72 tanks, the systems replicate real turret environments with six DOF motion, thermal sights, ballistic computers, and day-night battle scenarios. The five-year support package includes instructor training in Hyderabad. With over 300 simulators already delivered, this order strengthens Zen's growing defense footprint and pushes its financial year 2025 to 26 order book past rupees 750 crore. India's artillery capability takes a major stride as the army issues an RFI to manufacture 155mm electronic fuses domestically. Aimed at reducing import dependence, the initiative covers percussion, proximity and time fuses, key for precision strikes and modern artillery effectiveness. Under a no-cost, no-commitment model, Indian manufacturers are invited to develop and prototype systems aligned with Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat. With rising deployment of ATAGs, Dhanush and K9 Vajra guns, demand for advanced fuses is set to accelerate. Surrounded by ocean on three sides, India is boosting naval power to counter rising Chinese maritime dominance. With two carriers already in service and IAC-2 under construction, India is now pushing ahead with its fourth supercarrier, INS Vishal. Designed in collaboration with UK and French defense majors, the 65,000-70,000 ton carrier will anchor India's plan for three carrier strike groups by 2035. Once complete, INS Vishal is expected to rank among the world's most modern and powerful warships. India is fast-tracking its fighter jet buildup to prepare for future high-intensity wars. With Tejas Mk2 offering near 5 to gen capability and Rafale F4 poised for induction, the IAF plans a powerful trio alongside the upcoming AMCA. Facing threats from China's J-20 and Pakistan's J-10C, India aims to close its squadron gap, replacing aging Mirage, MiG and Jaguar fleets. Designed for long-term upgrades and two-front readiness, these jets will form the backbone of India's air superiority. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.